Hi, this is Dr. Anil Siddiqui from India. You are watching TGV on YouTube. Good luck. Good morning, you beautiful people. It's another new day. It's a beautiful day for beautiful people like you. One second, one second here, one second. The day cannot start until the shades go on. Oh, they're a little bit dirty again today. I'll have to clean them off in a bit. Y'all, we're gonna clean them off right now. Much better. Let's hit the road. And off we go. So we're between, we're between Ottawa and Montreal. We are on schedule still. We gotta be in Montreal in the dock before noon and it looks right now like we're gonna get there at about 11:30, so we don't have a lot of extra time so we're gonna hope for no traffic along the way and no traffic in the city key word there is hope hopefully nothing goes wrong because we have plans for after we're done em emptying our trailer there we're gonna head over and pick up a load in Guelph Ontario that load is going to the mighty rock of Newfoundland so it looks like we're gonna get to go on the ferry again. It's an eight hour ferry ride from the mainland to the island. Well, we know we're in Quebec because there's an abnormal people driving abnormally slow, which isn't illegal. No, it's not, but it is annoying. I notice this every single time I go through here. I don't know what it is, but uh, in 1.7 kilometers, take exit 60 on right towards lot 13. But if you pay attention, if you've never noticed before, you're one of them, all right? Because people in Quebec, they drive slower than people anywhere else. There's a lot of people who drive fast too, don't get me wrong, I gotta say that, otherwise someone's gonna comment and say, but, the, but, 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 but there's lots of fast ones too. I know, but there's an abnormal amount of people who drive up normally below the speed limit. You gotta admit that. That's how I know I'm in Quebec. <laughs> I'm constantly passing people, constantly. Like, I'm serious, I'm serious. Next time, even when you're in Ontario or Northern Ontario, Manitoba, and you catch up to a driver who's going abnormally slow, usually transport driver, truck driver, and they're going really slow, so you pull out to pass them, no big deal, right? Take a look at their license plate. Eight to nine times out of ten, they'll have a Quebec plate. Why? I don't know. It's a Quebec phenomenon. Quebec does have fancy tunnels, though. Look at this. Oh, I got my shades on. That's why I can't see. <laughs> I'm checking my lights. I'm like, my lights are on. Why can't I see where I'm going? You got your shades on, Trucker Josh. Here's my exit. Oh, hey, ch take a look at these cop cars they got here. They got these massive arrows on the top of them. It's hilarious. They'll go by really slow so you can see it. Real slow. Look at that thing. They carry those turn things with right them everywhere. On Route then turn left. I'm, I'm doing it, Mandy. Look, we gotta slow down for the copper. The police main. Respect the police, Mandy. Or they'll get you. That was a really narrow corner. All right, here we go. Oh, I remember this road. This is the road that, oh, okay, we'll shake all the bolts and nuts loose. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh yeah, oh. Turn yeah. left on Boulevard Jean Baptiste Deschamps. What? I can't hear you over the sound of the truck hitting all these potholes. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, okay, here we go. Stop sign, Eret sign, I eretted. Oh my, oh, oh, hey, oh. Bumpy roads here in Montreal, bumpy roads. I just got here to the yard. I gotta have my four-way flashers on while I'm in the yard here. I just thought this was worth a mention because I thought it was interesting. The gatekeeper or the, the keeper of the keys, the gatekeeper, the guy at the gate who lets you into the yard and you know, checks you in. He was a, an East Indian guy from India. Nothing interesting about that, right? Lots of East Indians in Canada. What was interesting is that he spoke French and not a word of English. A fluent French. 
not a word of English. What? Not even an accent. Well, I don't speak French. Maybe he did have their accent. I don't know. <laughs> I, we are in Quebec. I'm not surprised that he speaks French in Quebec, but I've just never seen an East Indian who only spoke French. The more you know. See the kind of experiences you get to experience being an over-the-road truck driver? You're going to meet all kinds of people. Some people will surprise you. Man, guys, it's dark outside already, and I haven't even talked to you all day. I've been busy. I've been busy doing this, doing that. Uh, not really. No, I've just been sort of sitting around driving. We're almost back in Toronto right now. Have I told you the plan yet? We're going to Guelph to pick up a trailer. That trailer's going to Newfoundland. We've got a drop in Quebec, a couple in New Brunswick, and a bunch in Newfoundland. So we're going on a ferry again. Eight-hour ferry ride there. Eight-hour ferry ride back. We're going on a boat. It's going to be fun. Yeah, this is the road out here in front of me right now. The road's already expanded to three lanes headed this way towards Toronto. i got to go through the city of Toronto. I stopped for a short nap. Uh, well, I would stopped for a break to grab a coffee, and then I looked at Google Maps that shows the traffic ahead, right? I wanted to see what traffic was like going through the city of Toronto. I realized that there was a couple of accidents at different spots on the highway and that there was over an hour delay just getting through the city. So instead of sitting in traffic for an hour, I just went to bed and had an hour nap. And when I got up, I checked the maps again and the accidents were cleared up, so. Trucker Josh one, life zero. Turns out my genius plan isn't so genius after all. Well, it was genius, I think. I, I'll take that, but. Oh, they've decided to close the two left lanes ahead here somewhere. That's what the sign said. And that was a new development because that wasn't there when I checked on Google. Unless they didn't report it to Google yet. Usually Google's pretty on top of that. But so they decided they needed to close two lanes of traffic with all of these people on it. So they're all trying to squish into my lane somewhere ahead of us. And of course, no one's trying to get into the lane right now because they're gonna wait right to the point where they almost run over the cones to get into this lane. So uh, we're stuck here in traffic now again. Didn't save much time after all. Must be Southern Ontario, must be. The closer you get to Toronto, the worse it gets. We're still here. Still no construction in sight. Still just signs saying construction ahead. Uh, finally got ourselves moving here. Just coming into Toronto, we went past Oshawa a little while ago. We're just going past Oshawa? Yeah, I believe we're around the Oshawa area. Uh, it's been taking a lot longer than I thought, but at least we got that nap in before. Got lots of energy. In 1.7 kilometers, keep left on 401 Expressway. Oh, and what a day yesterday was. Oh, didn't really do much though, did we? We did drive quite a ways though. Oh, my eyes are just red today. Something got into this eye again. And I spent half the night trying to get it out. It's absolutely ridiculous. It drove me insane. Has that ever happened to you guys? I was thinking I might actually have to go to a doctor the next day. I was like, how am I gonna get this out of here? It's so frustrating. Tried flushing it out underwater. The, all the tricks that Google told me to get stuff out of your eye, it just wouldn't leave. So we're just gonna wear shades and act like that never happened. Because it seems to be gone now. It seems to be. Hopefully it's not just hiding in the back there somewhere to make another appearance. This is the next morning. Uh, I didn't film an end of day yesterday. I didn't do much filming yesterday at all. What we did do is we drove from Ottawa to Montreal, back through Toronto to Guelph. We're here in Guelph right now at my secret parking spot. Switched trailers at our, at our yard there. Came over here to my spot and worked on YouTube pretty much. Same thing we do every night. Try to take over the world. For tomorrow's vlog for you, we're going to be driving back towards Montreal through into St. Adele, Quebec, and then we're going into New Brunswick. I think I have two drops, one drop in New Brunswick, then one in Nova Scotia next week. And then we go on the ferry across to Newfoundland. So I'll be in Newfoundland next week. Uh, hopefully I won't hit any moose or anything. Hopefully the ferry ride 
will be pleasant and not too stormy or anything. It's an eight hour ride, like I said, so we go across the ocean from Nova Scotia to Portal Basque, Newfoundland. It should be a lot of fun. I haven't done it in a while and I'm looking forward to it. So we want to thank you for watching the vlog today and watching the vlog every day. Like always, if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel here to Trucker Josh Vlogs. I make a new video every single day. Some days are more exciting than others, let's admit it. But I do try and put my effort in every day to get something out there for you. This is a daily journal of my life. It's not your regular daily video, daily vlog. I travel for a living. Uh, my girlfriend's back home. She sometimes put her input into the vlogs as well. What she's doing, not every day, but just randomly here and there whenever she feels like sending me something. So it's a, we got a wide variety of topics that we cover on this channel and it's not a trucking channel specifically. I just happen to be in a truck a lot of the time and it happens to be what most of the stuff seems to be about right now. <laughs> That's good because we love trucking, don't we? If you love trucking, go down below to the comment section and tell me. I love trucking. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.